Good morning, students. We are solving problems from the chapter valuation of shares. Today we will solve a problem from Mangalore University question paper 2016. This is a 12 marks question. So the question is like this. Following is the balance sheet of Godavari Limited as on 31st December 2015. Liabilities are given. Share capital, reserve, workman's saving account, profit and loss account, creditors, assets, building, plant, debtors, stock, cash, preliminary expenses. Then plant and uh, uh, building value at uh, 60,000 and 1 lakh 70,000 respectively. Out of debtors, rupees 2,500 are taken as bad. The profits for the company for three years are. 2013, 35, 2014, 40,000, 2015, 47,500. Company transfers, company transfers 20% of profit to reserve every year. Normal rate of return in similar companies 12%. Sales tax liability of 1,000 is likely to arise. Find out the value of equity shares under net asset method and yield method. So this is the problem we have to solve. This problem is now we can solve it. See one item we can observe there in the problem. Problem is the item we can observe. What is the problem? Kottanta have one item, workman's saving account and the kotti there. Workman's saving account and the workman's saving account and the hell waga. Adhu workman's compensation account in the vettyas thagi. Workman's compensation account is relating to the workman's compensation account is maintained to see that whenever there is a an accident or something like that, some incidents, uh, some uh, accident uh, happens, the compensation is paid to the workers. So it is, if the accident doesn't happen, it will be shareholders fund itself. It is the part of the shareholders fund. But workman saving account is different. It is purely the saving of the workers. It is a saving of the workmen. Workmen here saving money is other than the liability. the liability, outside the liability. That is the one. The workers see the fund. The company gather a bear, the other claim of the company, shareholders in a fund. Workers see the other fund and a company later on. So, Hagagi workmen saving account on the cotre, outside our liability, workmen compensation fund on the cotre, outside our liability, the equity shareholders is a fund on the consider Marbeko. So, Hagagi nodi, Lee, Matte nodi, adjustmentally cotton the item nodi, sixty thousand, one lakh seventy thousand. Building Matu, plant Matu building, E amount the Gibeko. Debtors in the E two thousand five hundred bad debts and a minus Marbeko. Ashte Rodu, Matundu tax liability, the Edu, contingent liability, the Gibek, liability side. Is to be shared, we get net asset method. We get building 1,70,000, plant 60,000, adjustment and account amount. Debtors 47,500, 2,500, 45,000. Stock 31,750, cash 29,250, total 3,36,000. That is gross market value of the assets. Now, liabilities, liabilities including contingent liability, and the very good. Liabilities paid to outsiders on the very well, creditors 45,000, tax liability, sales tax liability 1,000. Matte idu workmen's compensation fund, adu, workmen's uh, saving fund, adu, workmen's compensation fund, idu workmen's saving fund, adu, compensation fund, idu non the change money, workmen's saving account, idu, arthe, arthe wo, saving account. So workmen's saving account is to rupees 40,000. Okay. Uh, so total 86,000. 3 lakh 36,000 minus 86,000, 2 lakh 50,000. Preference shareholders will be net assets available to equity shareholders will be same. So 2 lakh 50,000. Okay. 2 lakh 50,000 is the net assets available to equity shareholders. So intrinsic value 
Intrinsic value is to the net assets available to equity shareholders that is 2,50,000 divided by sorry divided by you know, divided by number of equity shares number of equity shares is 10,000 problem is question is 10,000 shares on the body that is 10,000 so 2,50,000 divided by 10,000 rupees 25 per share so this is net asset method you know, yield method you know, yield method is annual average profit 2013 35,000 14 40,000 15 is 47,500 minus bad debts 2,500 so 45,000 total 120,000 average annual profit is 40,000 less transfer to reserve 8,000 then profit available to all shareholders is 32,000 so now preference dividend nil so profit available to equity shareholders is also same amount 32,000 now you see capitalized profit is equal to profit available 32,000 normal rate of return given in the problem 12% into 100 so capitalized profit is 2,66,667 value per share value per share and is yield value per share capitalized value profit divided by number of equity shares that is 2,66,667 divided by 10,000 so rupees 26.67 illige problem mugiyittu adre bekadre neevu en maadabodu fair value calculate maadabodu antu torisidene intrinsic value plus market value athava yield value divided by 2 25 plus 26.67 divided by 2 that is equal to 25.835 so that is the answer okay hope you have understood this answer any doubt idre enadru kelbodu okay thank you